you have four fours, four, 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 and four, and using all four fours, you have to create, using the mathematical operators, as many numbers as you can. So the way that we start this normally, if we're doing level one four fours, will be all that you're allowed to use is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Well, let's start at naught, and we're gonna then get a one, and we get a two. So with naught, how do you get four fours to equal naught? It's kind of easy, you can get four, minus four, plus four, minus four, that's naught. Brilliant, we've got naught. Okay, let's put four fours again to equal one. Well, we could do four divided by four, now that's one, plus four minus four, or we could have done four divided by four, divided by four divided by four, which is one divided by one, which is one. Again, that's one. There are different ways, and they get a little more complicated. And we can do two, and we can carry on upwards. How far? 10, 100, 1,000. I'm going to show you today. Bring your mind will be blown. I will prove the full force all the way up to infinity. You can make every number. You can make every number up to infinity. It's a fantastic little proof. And we're going to get to, we need to actually clarify the operator first. We can get up to 10 just with these, plus, minus, multiplication, and division. To get up to 20, we need to introduce some other things. What we need to introduce is concatenation, which means just we've got 4, 4, 4, 4. We bring them together, so we can actually bring them together. We can We can introduce decimal points, so one of these could be 0 and 4. And we can introduce the factorial, which means it's times 2 times 2. And all in squares. You might want to link us to some partnerships in the area. I mean, I think far we'll be. Well, that's the best thing. I'll be to the 